Welcome to my world Won't you come on in Miracles I guess Still happen now and then Step into my heart Leave your cares behind Welcome to my world Filled with you in mind And the door will be open Seek and you will find Ask and you'll be given A key to this world of mine I'll be waiting there Waiting just for you Welcome to my world Welcome to my world Dominic Patre Filius is Brutto Santos. We're not going to have the Mass in Latin, but we're going to have it in English, the Norvis Ordo. And we're going to welcome you all here. And the Lord be with you all. No matter who you are, where you're from, what part of the world, you're welcome. Religion, faith, no faith, any faith, you're all welcome. And be with your spirit. So now, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we're going to have to say we're sorry for the old sins. So we're going to say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the angels and saints, and you, my sisters and brothers, to pray for me to the Lord of God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us all, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Now we just say the Lord of mercy. Maybe. Lord of mercy, Christ of mercy, Christ of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. And now we're going to give thanks to the Almighty God. In the glory, and glory be to God in the highest and on earth peace the people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. You can all sit there and there, till we get to the Gospel. I'm not going to, uh, well, this is all no, it's Mission Sunday now today. It's the, this Mass is for the 22nd of October 29th, Sunday in Ordinary Time. And our readings were asked to acknowledge that the, the Lord of God and all the people as our sisters and brothers. So we are to give appropriately of our resources for the needs and betterment of all, that's for the missions. Now that is uh, in this Eucharist, pray for our local mission projects in our own communities and commit ourselves to work to alleviate hungry and poverty in our own neighbourhood in the Cooley Peninsula here there's people fighting and struggling I heard there's 48 families in trouble so we must always remember I always like to say charity begins at home 
So, we're now going to have the opening prayer, which we usually say, let us pray. The theme of the Mass for the day would be the Lord of History. Well, if we go with the missions, this will be good enough. We're trying to restore to the faith of our Father, so we sing that hymn at the end. Now, let us pray for the gift of simplicity and joy in our service of God and man, and I always like simplicity. Almighty and ever-living God, our source of power and inspiration, gives us strength and joy in serving you as followers of Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And the first reading today is a reading from the prophet Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah. And here where he's taken Cyrus in his right hand to subdue nations before him. We'll just hear the reading as to say. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whom he has taken by his right hand to subdue nations before him, to strip the lines of kings, to force getaways before him, that their gates be closed no more. It is for the sake of my servant Jacob, of Israel, my chosen one, that I have called you by your name, conferring a title. Though you do not know me, I am the Lord unrevealed. There is no other God beside me, though you do not know me. I arm you that men may know from the rising to the setting of the sun that apart from me all is nothing. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Response to the psalm today is, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord glory and power. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth, tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to the feared above the all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. Give the Lord worthy and power, glory and power. Lord, give the Lord, ye families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering on other and enter the, his courts. Give the Lord glory and power. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Give the Lord glory and power. And second reading for the day is a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the people in Thessalonia. Thessalonians with all them. So we, we constantly remember your faith, your love and your hope. That's something Paul is working. Very, very important to remember your faith. No faith and nothing if nothing. From Paul, Sylvanus and Timothy to the church in Thessalonica, which is in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Wishing you grace and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We always mention you in our prayers and thank God for you all and constantly remember before God our Father and how you have shown your faith in action, worked for love and persevered through hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. We know brothers and sisters that God loves you and that you have been chosen because when we brought the good news uh, to you, it came to you, not only as words, but as power and as the Holy Spirit, and as utter conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now just sing the Alleluia in Gospel Acclamation and I'll recite uh, the verse. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your word is truth, O Lord. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, 
each and every one of you no matter where you are who you are what you are you're all welcome and if you're pets along with you they are welcome too the Lord be with you all then of course and with your spirit and a reading of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew glory to thee O Lord and he tells us give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God the Pharisees went away to work out between them how to trap Jesus in what he said. And they sent the disciples to him together with the Herodians to say, Master, we know that you are an honest man and teach the way of God in an honest way, and that you were not afraid of anyone, because a man's rank means nothing to you. Tell us your opinion then. Is it permissible to pay taxes to Caesar or not. But Jesus was aware of the malice and replied, You hypocrites, why do you set this trap for me? Let me see the money you pay the tax with. They handed him a denarian, husbands, and he said, Whose head is this? Whose name? Caesar's, they said. They replied. He then said to them, Very well. Give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God, the Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now seeing that today is, is a Mission Sunday, I'll focus on it. We all know for many years in Ireland, we had uh, missionaries going to various parts of the world. We used to have them going to Africa, sending priests out there, and there's many of the man got made a bishop, an Irishman out in Africa, or an uh, apostolic administrator. And now, of course, it's got the other way around. <laughs> Near the Africans have come back to mission to us. Because I would argue, uh, it's argument that the faith is not as strong as it was years ago. There's too, too much prosperity in Ireland. Uh, well, that can be argued too, but in the modern world, too many pubs and subs and this, and, and I think uh, with a lot of people, maybe God goes out. And God comes back in when they've healed of cancer or they have something seriously wrong with them. So we say it's spreading the faith was what the mission was about. We heard in the readings it was about spreading the faith without labouring you. And uh, the Thessalonians uh, in Thessalonica, they were good in the faith and Paul complimented them in the reading. But we have been good in the past at sending missionaries out to Africa and various places, various diocese. And, uh, and now at the moment, it's turned the table around because there's a lack of vocations because sectorism has destroyed uh, Europe in a way it has destroyed Ireland we maybe were overruled by religion at one stage but it's part of your life uh, I do feel you have to uh, keep it with you it's what I mean by religion is faith Christianity it's Christianity and we all know that the word universal means uh, no Catholic uh, when you interpret it you can look it up yourself and it means universal so we can say the Holy Catholic Universal and Apostolic Church now the, the first men in the church was apostles uh, the church was people it was houses house masses and uh, very small first bishops would consecrate the host all that and eventually when the thing got too busy they had to delegate out and priests then appeared and deacons and all this so that was the mission of Christ. Christ was a prophet man who was healing people. And I believe in that the healing ministry in, in the, the Roman Catholic Church has been neglected. Because I do heal people and I'm not afraid to say it. And uh, it's, it's through Jesus, of course. So I wonder, is the faith lacking? Uh, it, it certainly must be, because every priest should be able to heal if he has real good faith. Because that's what Christ had, solid faith. And you need that to do any healing or to do anything. You even run a business you need to be uh, solid in your, your uh, uh, system of working or you, you, you'd fall by the, the wayside. Now, so back to it, we had many missionaries going out there and many of men went out and it was a lifetime in different countries. In Africa there, they, they take longer at the mass because they celebrated, they dance and they do a lot of things which we don't want here. 
<clears throat> but uh, I'm not going to go into criticizing the things here, but we, we need to think of God because I always remember uh, it's not looking good uh, uh, with the way things are going in the world. The world could come to a sad end and you'd all uh, be crying when you're too late. You mightn't get time to cry because there'll be earthquakes and there'll be uh, for a serious bad weather and uh, this was all taught to me by my mother years ago because she, she taught scripture. She was formerly an Anglican and uh, compared to Roman Catholicism, Roman Catholicism when she married my father. And she was very good in the scripture and I would get a lot of ideas there and I see it's all coming to light. Uh, so what I'm going to say is this, we are a missionaries in our own light, in our own parish here. And I must say the parishes in the Cooley Peninsula under Vicar Farin, uh, uh, Father uh, Brian McCreese, uh, they're running very well. They are running very well, and uh, maybe some parishes might be weaker than others. No, the, 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 the good uh, attempt made this structure the thing up, uh, especially in Cooley, uh, they're doing quite a lot of uh, good deeds. Uh, they have a, 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 what do you call it, a Rad Abbey going there. Maybe there should be a, a, a department in it uh, for people who would have very obnoxious uh, smells of that, but it, it's running very well what it's doing in general. They try to cater for all, but it can be very hard. Now, I would get it very hard if it was in that place to, uh, if I sat beside someone with a bad smell, it a weak stomach, but I can't help that. I'd have to get out, you know, or else wear a gas mask, then I couldn't eat. <laughs> but that's beside the point. But they're doing very well in Cooley. Uh, the pastor council is working relatively well. There's a need, of course, uh, for mission work to get young people uh, back uh, to church. You have to get them interested, get them involved. Well, that's been tried and it's not going bad. But I do feel uh, that they will uh, come back at a later stage, a lot of them. Because in the in the early church, people who was uh, baptised in water, they weren't baptising babies. And I did a thesis on the, a thesis on the confirmation of uh, uh, confirmation and in the different churches and baptism, etc. So. Uh, don't, don't worry too much if the kids uh, are not coming back to church because I'm going to, to criticize strongly uh, the, the, the RE teaching in schools. It wasn't sufficient. But they were also hampered by the problem uh, with e European legislation. You can't do this to your child, you can't do that. And there was too much drinking and too much carry on and a lack of responsibility, you could say. And I don't apologize for saying that because I'm a man of the world myself and I've seen it. Uh, what has happened. Now that's in our own country. So we're trying to overcome a lot of that now. And there's a lot of people here in drugs and they've been petted and whatnot. Uh, I think that may have to change, sadly. So we need to get our act together, everybody, me, everybody, each and every one of us, and try and get back to civilization. It doesn't mean we have to get back to our teachers as bad on the elephant or that. Uh, we don't need that. But we need to, to get more Christian. We're still not uh, good enough. We're not bad, but they do a lot of good things in this parish and um, in uh, the pastoral area. And I am independent, so of them, I'm the, all the matter day, as you all know. And we're in an independent religious order, and we acknowledge the Papa. He is the Pope in Rome. And very good man. He's uh, very, very much like myself, funny to say. I know it says a more worthy man than me, but you have to admire everybody. Uh, you don't shoot someone down and want to sit in your seat. But I just seen yesterday, he had somebody child up beside him. You, know, you can't have that. And you, you have to show the love of Christ. Now, there's an awful lot of people now that have some type of uh, phobia. If they see you talking to someone, they think you're trying to, to, to go with them. When I was a young lad, uh, we would speak to uh, boys only, we didn't speak to girls. But now it's gone beyond, uh, Europe must go, and if Ireland doesn't get out of Europe, uh, I mean this with my heart, they're going to suffer in the long run, because uh, Europe, European Union is going to disintegrate. There's too much friction in it. And uh, Britain is doing the right thing to leave it, I feel. They may suffer a bit at the start, but they will get back to basics. But back to the story of, we're talking about missionary. We said there's a lot of very good work going on in the locality here, but there's more needs to be done, getting the young people back to church, right. 
Now, what are we to do then? Uh, the family has to be strengthened here. Because we've seen that the males of the family were all this, uh, well, all this uh, sexual uh, order, like you have, uh, you know, affectionate groups coming up and this and that. I don't want to criticise anybody, but that's why I'm not just using one word to the problem. Uh, we have all that problem to deal with. It's the change in role of the family, and if you study it, it's an unbelievable the change in role. Like years ago, you had the granddad in the corner, and if there were a small farmer, he, he, the son had took over, he'd be sitting there, and the granddad would be in the house and he died. And in some foreign countries, which you all know, which you're looking to be, you still have to look after your older people. There's no social welfare. But we have that here. We're getting better than we were, but we've a long way to go, because while we're getting better, there's been other changes, and it's taken people off the board mission, but there's still quite a lot of people here uh, helping out. Because if you look at the local churches that was built here in the time of uh, very poor uh, surroundings, a bar, a church up beside me here, and it's a, not a, it's a bit, maybe 140 years old, something like that, roughly. And it was tough times. There was tough times here in the 30s, in the 60s that there was very little money around. So the people still give to the missions and they give to the foreign missions. Now, there's a, a lot of uh, foreign mission activity going on, but I must say it's getting the other way around because I've seen the Philippines and all these places, they're, they love uh, the mass and all this type of thing. And there's a lot of people in Ireland too likes the mass, but there's a younger crowd have gone off. So it's a worldwide mission. And where do you start? It's great to see the Redemptors and the Dock and command a, a big, big crowd to it today, and I don't feel they should uh, cut off today because the weather's not that bad. Uh, it's south easterly here, it won't affect... Uh, it will not be that, that severe for the daytime, but uh, precautions are taken not to attend these uh, events. So with that, you can only do your best, and uh, we must love Earth. Very, very important while we're missioning, or we'll have no Earth, because it will bring an end to it man will bring about his own destruction. My mother always said that and she was right because she was well versed in the biblical studies and it's looking that way. But we can try and avert it and pray that it doesn't do uh, that way. But the only way you can do it is help in any way you can. So help the missions, help to conserve uh, energy and to uh, deal with your waste in, in a, a proper way. So with that, I'll leave us now to think, it's Mission Sunday, do your best, that's all you can do. You're probably under pressure yourself here in Ireland uh, to uh, give money to missions, but if you can, it's greatly appreciated, and it's the next world you'll, you'll be appreciated. God bless each and every one of you, and be careful if you're going fishing today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And now, I want you all to stand if you're fit, and we're going to recite the Nicene. Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son and Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, the Almighty Father. There he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic or Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Now we're going to have the prayers of the faithful, and I'm going to make them to the point today. For all those that lead the church, uh, for Francis of Pope, as he recalls the memory of his predecessor, especially here, Paul the, the Sixth, and all who shepherd your people, that they may serve to the glory of God's name, Lord, hear us, our grace to hear us. So the response is going to be, Lord, hear my prayer. For the world, which we're speaking about on Mission Sunday, that all may recognize in their neighbor and in every person that they meet, that they're brothers and sisters, giving thanks 
for diversity of race, culture and languages. We have to love all and respect all. Lord hear us, thy grace to hear us. And for all those refugees around the world in various countries, help us to accept them with love and compassion into our, our communities where at all possible. Lord hear us, thy grace to hear us. And for all those who have died and that now be in the presence of the Lord our God. We're going to have uh, Noel Lochran. He died and we pray for Noel. And may he rest in peace. Eternal strength for the Lord. Petrol excited upon his soul. The souls of all the faithful. He parted to the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. Heavenly Father. Everything you are and have is yours. Renew us in your love so that we may serve you with humility and generosity. Make our prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. I just wish to remind us again at the prayers of the faithful, all those people, I just can't be naming everybody. We've the, the James Perry, Philip and his mother. Pray for their problems. We have uh, Caroline. I lit the candle there today and especially for Caroline in the dark. I get evil out of her, her life. But it's attacking her, and I tell you one thing: I, uh, with my bishop's power, I will ask you, Jesus, to deal with those people that's attacking her, if they are attacking her, and keep her safe in her home. For other people that have asked me to pray for them, uh, for Andrea and uh, her family, and also Sean Cudden, I'll pray for, and we pray for different people. Now, I'm, I just can't not going to be naming people that happen to give me the names. So I only pray for people that ask me to pray for them, but I do intend to pray for all, but I can't name them under the Data Protection Act. <laughs> so, Jesus, you understand, anyone that has asked me now to pray for them, they're remembered in this Mass, anybody at all, even if I forgot the names, Jesus, you didn't forget. So now we're going to move on, and we're going to move on with the Mass. God love you. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, you come for the bread of life, blessed be God forever. And may the mystery of the water and wine come to share in the divinity of Christ to humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed be the Lord God of all creation, the three goodness we receive. Wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine. The work of human spirit. The human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble sponsor contrite heart, that we be accepted by you, O Lord, with a sacrifice and sight of this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Now will you wash me from your iniquity, Lord, and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. The Lord receive the sacrifice of the hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our benefit of the benefit of his holy church. And today I'm going to go handy on you It's Eucharistic prayer number two. So first of all, we're going to say the prayer over the gifts. Lord God, may the gifts we offer you on this altar here bring us your love and forgiveness and give us freedom to serve you with our lives. We ask this to Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. That is thanks to the Lord of God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do will always and ever to give you thanks. When your children sinned and wandered far from your friendship, you reunited them with yourself 
through the blood of your Son and the power of the Holy Spirit. You gather them into your church to be one of you, Father, are one, and your Son and the Holy Spirit. You call them to be a people, to praise your wisdom in all your works, to make them the body of Christ and the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. In our joy we sing to your glory with all the choirs of angels. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth is full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed he comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Your holy deed, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness, may holy therefore these gifts we pray O Lord by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall that they may become for us the body and blood of the Son of Lord Jesus Christ at the time Jesus Christ was being prayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke it and he said to the disciples take this out of you and eat of it for this is my body which would be given up for you In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which should be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Give it thanks that you have felt as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And when we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, that we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis the Pope, Michael Patriarch, me, your bishop, and all the bishops in the clergy that hand on the Roman Catholic, uh, the Catholic faith, universal faith, church, and for the dead, of course. Remember your servant, Noel, who we still name today. He was called last week from this world to yourself. His body's coming back to Ireland. Grant that he, he was united with your son in death, like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. And not forgetting, of course, to remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, May we merit to be co heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you to your Son Jesus Christ. True man with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and form me divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us. Lord, we pray from every evil, grace to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of the Saviour Jesus Christ. 
the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace to leave you, my peace to give you. Look not in your sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reigns forever and ever, amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, no matter where you are, who you are, race, creed, religion, it doesn't matter. Peace be with you all and with your spirit. Now, you've offered each other, I hope, to sign a peace. Come on, lads, don't be laughing down there. Shake hands. Peace with you too. May the wind of the body and blood bring eternal life to those who receive it. Lamb of God, you take wisdom to the word of merciness. Lamb of God, you take wisdom to the word of merciness. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him and takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Nor am I worthy to receive. I only said the word of my soul to be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ keep me safe in eternal life, man. For Jesus Christ. All make it be. Just think about it. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. When I was I said, I will make your plea again. I'm going to do it this way. I want to ask you all to take a silent moment now and a special request to Jesus. Talk to Jesus for what you want. What's your problem? Jesus, will you hear us please? Here are all those people that have been looking for quests of you. And, and I do trust you will get on to the Father from them. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. What is passed with our lips is food, O Lord, for we possess in period of heart that what has been given to us in time and be our healing for eternity. And now I want to say, Lord, May this Eucharist help us to remain faithful. May it teach us the way to eternal life. And the Son of Man, remember, came to give his life as a ransom for many. Now let us pray.
Jesus, we ask you to intercede, as I have done a moment ago, for the people who have requested uh, help from you, and also help the missions, help them to understand the problems of mission work, and help them to subscribe what they can. You can only do the best. So may this Eucharist help us to remain faithful, and even more faithful, the faith of our fathers. May it teach us the way to eternal life. We ask this to Christ the Lord. Amen. I'm just going to give you a simple blessing. The Lord be with you, everybody, and with your spirit. I may Almighty God bless each and every one of you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Going forth now to serve the love of Christ and remember the missions today. It's Mission Sunday. And there's a mission in your own parish, start in your own area. And we're going to sing a little hymn which I like. And the Redemptors used to sing it years ago. It's entitled Faith of Our Fathers. <laughs> Fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Oh, how our hearts be filled with joy whenever we hear the glorious word. Faith of her fathers, holy faith, we will. Be true to thee till death. Faith of her father's Mary's prayer shall keep our country fast to thee. And in the truth that comes from God, oh, we shall prosper and be free. Faith of her father's Holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. We will be true to thee till death. Thank you very much, folks. Don't forget, of course, it's the feast of the, the Blessed Virgin. Or not the feast, the month. And you can say the rosary or get involved in prayer to her.